Fusing Pokemon can already make more powerful Pokemon than Arceus himself. But what if we took it just one step further? We have randomized six different rounds of Pokemon Fusion starters, and we were able to teach them any move that ever existed, trying to outsmart and outplay our opponent to build the best Pokemon Fusion that we can with custom moves. Good old Rich right away. It's time for your first Fusion video. Are you excited? I'm really excited because I've seen you guys doing these for like so long, and I've just been sitting there as a Call of Duty YouTuber and I'm like, I need to do this. Do you want to go pick your Pokemon first? I will. All right, I'm so excited. Let's see what we're cooking up. Oh my God. I've never seen him as a starter form, but that Rayquaza Cinderace looks so sick. Yeah, so on the left, we have a Volcarona. And what is that, Crustle? Crustle, yeah, Santa Claus. Middle, Cinderace, Rayquaza. On the right, is that K Kingdra and Metagross? <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, this is crazy. And you get one custom move for any of those. So I get to pick whichever one I want, correct? Which everyone you want. There are no strings attached. The one that's speaking to me the most is the Cinderace Rayquaza. That thing looks menacing, bro. Yeah, it's speaking to me. I think I'm going to pick the Cinderace Rayquaza fusion. Come on. Who's picking that little bug Santa Claus on the left, you know? What you say? Mm, that you only meant well. Alrighty, guys, introducing Henry, the fire flying type. This fusion looks absolutely insane, right? For the held item, I gave it heavy duty boots. I think that was just kind of like the most obvious thing. Checking out its stats, though, that attack stat 368 is unbelievable. But then also for its speed, it's pretty damn high as well. So whatever Dylan has, hopefully we have a chance to outspeed. For the ability, I went with Libero right here to change the Pokemon's type to whatever move I'm about to use. I feel like that is just going to be our best option right here for kind of going for coverage and i don't really know what dylan's gonna have in the future but checking out its moves for the custom move i gave it sacred fire a really good physical fire type move also gave it eq dragon claw extreme speed and with the combination of libero i think we're looking pretty damn good and i gave it the jolly nature all right it's fine let's go ahead and take a look at mine hmm. This is really interesting because all three of these are really good. I think Rillaboom would be really good uh, with having Grassy Surge and being able to like Grassy Glide. Also having insane defense for whatever you give that Rayquaza. But also a Metagross or Raquinid is good too. I don't know. What the heck? Honestly, I just went up against a Rillaboom recently. Had no idea that thing is just insane. So I'm a little scared looking at this. I've used you a lot in all the... Oh, I'm sorry. You look so happy. I don't get... Don't, don't, we're going you. We're going... We're going... Gorilla! So I chose this guy because I've really never used him, although he is incredible. Grass and Rock is a really good typing offensively and defensively. He's got great attack stack from Rillaboom and an even better defense stat from Reggie Rock. Not to mention the ability Grassy Surge is really good. It can heal you. It helps you against ground type moves. I mean, just look at the attack and defense stat. This mod is great to be switched in at any point in time. And especially with the one custom move, I get priority, meaning I get to go first in the battle with Grassy Glide and I get a Cell Rock. A Cell Rock is my custom move that I gave him. So that's going to do great damage. It gives me great coverage with Rock and Grass. And if he ever tries to set up with that, like, Cinderace Rayquaza, I can actually send him out to take the hits defensively, but also outspeed and do a Cell Rock. So really good mod and great for my team. Honestly, I can't blame you. The, the arms on that guy, I wish he would just bang me, you know? Did you say you, you wish he would bang you? Can we go to the next round? When a guy's banging you, you don't, you spin off of him. This round, I'll go first. That way we, I can't just always counter pick you. Oh, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got, baby. Oh my God, you were just talking about this off screen. Dude, can they throw that in the video? That's so sick. There's a Dialga Landers. Yeah, he's so cool too. Wait, what's that middle? That is Arcanine and Mamoswine. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, I really love this, but I mean, I just feel like he can easily be countered by some Pokemon. I gotta really think about having that extra move. <laughs> His face though, I'm <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna be talking about these models like... <laughs> His face is ridiculous. I'm going to go with the Dialga and Landers because of sheer force. I mean, being able to have that at my disposal, kind of like your Libro, that's really good. I mean, do I really need to explain myself? It's two amazing legendaries fused into one. Dialga's great by himself and so is Landers, but put together, it's almost unbeatable. And with the ability sheer force, like I have great special attack and great speed. Sheer force allows me to do even more damage when I attack. And especially
especially being able to give him any custom move. Blue Flare from Reshiram is a great move that does get boosted by sheer force, but you would never see that because obviously Reshiram never gets that ability. So giving this to this fusion is great. Not to mention having Grassy Surge helps me against like Earthquake. So really good Mon, great stats all around and can deal insane amounts of damage. Round two, oh my God. <laughs> Dylan. Dylan, what is that on my screen? It may look underwhelming, but the middle is a Dialga Umbreon, so that's fat. The right is Contrary Scizor. The left is Weedle. So, I mean, it's a Dragonite, but it is also a Weedle. Oh, that's supposed to be a Dragonite. I didn't know if that was a Gudra. The one that's speaking to me the most is the middle one. I really like how that is just so thick, bro. That's not going to be fun to deal with. I'm not going to lie. I think I have to do it, man. I'm going to pick the middle for sure. Next up, we have Chadley, the Dark Steel type. I love of this fusion as well. This is a really, really thick mod, so I gave it leftovers just to kind of regain some HP over time if Dylan potentially can't take this thing down very quickly. Looking at its stats though, really, really good special attack 305, but also that special defense. I mean, chef's kiss 360. For the ability, I went with Synchronize. It was either that or I believe Pressure. So just in case Dylan tries to poison, paralyze me, even burn me, think that's going to be our best option. Going into the moves, though, I gave it Skull just as kind of like a coverage move, to be honest with you, with that Steel type that we have. We also have Flash Cannon, Wish, just in case I want even more HP over time. Dylan may be struggling to take this thing out. And then I gave it Dark Pulse, which, of course, has the calm nature. Before our next fusion, this video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Now, most of you know who they are, but just by chance you don't. They deliver fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes to your door step and they taste better than what I could even put into words. No more blankly staring at your pantry or mindlessly scrolling your food apps. Whether you want to eat better, you want to have better tasting meals, or you want to save money, you win with all of those with HelloFresh. You get to pick your meals weekly and don't have to be an expert in the kitchen for these to taste like gourmet. Listen, if I can do it, you all can as well. They hold your hand and give you the perfect amount of ingredients to make sure there's no giant mess to clean up at the end. Because let's be honest, the last thing we want to do when having gourmet meals in a great Great food coma is to go clean up a huge mess in the kitchen. And that's something you will never do with HelloFresh. And now is the best time to try them with their biggest menu yet and over 45 recipes to choose from. And if you click my link in the description today and use my code UNITED16FM, you get 16 free meals and free dessert for life as long as your subscription is active. That's 16 free meals and free dessert. So don't waste time and try them out today. Let your life be changed for Forever. I'm ready to go. All right, you want me to go first? Yeah, round three, baby. What can you get? All right, let's check them out. Let's check. Oh, oh what? You got Dusty! Yo, Dusty was so broken, we had to nerf him. So he has Chansey's defense now, but he was like unbeatable in the video he premiered. That thing is terrifying. Okay, so on the left, we obviously have a Kyogre Pichu. It's so small. He's a little bobblehead. Literally. And then obviously Buzzwool and Lugia. Honestly, bro, I think I got to go for that Lugia. Yeah, buzz well that thing looks crazy all right guys introducing stan the bug psychic type i gave it the rocky helmet as well going into its stats really insane attack stat with 380 pretty good uh special defense and honestly really good defense and just speed overall now it was really tough i didn't know which ability to give it we had so many good options right here but i ended up giving it the beast boost right here i think that's going to be absolutely insane next up for our moves i actually ended up giving it photon geyser i'm feeling pretty confident with that move but then we also have things like drain punch leech life and even bulk up so we are going to be an attacking fiend right here also gave it the adamant nature this thing might be pretty damn good oh oh you just got a psychic type and i could get an arcanine here this is a really hard round because right here you have charizard and doug trio i'm sorry that is just the the hydrapple this was before hydrapple just saying and then we have the three-headed arcanine hydragon and arcanine that's potential levitate that's potential intimidate the cerberus and then we have prankster fairy steel grimmsnarl the Cerberus Arcanine is crazy looking though. It is so cool, but prankster with any move? I need a coin flip. Heads is the three-headed dog and tails is the good old sword. Flip a coin. I didn't get that. Flip a coin. She just not doing it today? No. Flip a coin. 
It's Tails. All right, I'm going the Grim Snarl. I know I couldn't decide between the beautiful Hydreigon, Dragon Arcanine and this guy, but this guy is definitely better on the team because of his ability in typing. Fairy and Steel is debatably the best typing in existence. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know Wolfie and he talks about how good that typing is. It's great typing and we get Prankster allowing us to go first for any status move. So I could have done Swords Dance to go first, but I went with good old Spore. You know, he doesn't have a grass type yet, so Spore is so so dang good to be able to put anything to sleep immediately. There is sleep claws, which means we can only put one mon to sleep at a time. Otherwise, it's completely broken. And not to mention, I have Parting Shot, which allows me to go first, lower his stats, and switch on out to a new Pokemon. And, to, you know, just a good attacking move because he does have good attack stat. We have Knock Off and Play Rough. A fantastic Pokemon. But that's why I named him Melatonin because of Spore. Round number four. What do we have? Oh, I don't even know, dude. I genuinely don't even know what I go with here. We have Fighting and Ghost. Aegislash and Lucario. Amazing. Then we have Simple, Tyranitar, and Swoobat. That would be my setup, Mon. But then Mewtwo, Kyo, or Giratina. Like, that fusion is peak. I'm sorry. That should be a real thing. I, I can't wait for Generation 12 when they finally bring in fusions <laughs> to be an actual Pokemon. I'm gonna go Tyranitar and Swoobat. Giving it any move is so beneficial, because Simple gives it a times two stat. If I can give that thing shift gear, it gets plus four in speed, and it's gonna outspeed every Everything. Looking at this guy, you wouldn't think he's insane, but dude, a simple ability allows a double stat boost every time you do try and set up. So I went ahead and gave this guy an amazing move that is only given to Phalanx, which is no retreat, boosting every one of his stats by two stages. He'll be able to take hits, do insane amounts of damage, and outspeed everything. The only issue with that is I can't switch out. So he is just a full-on sweeper. If I can have a good time to send him out into battle, set up no retreat, and just sweep the rest of the team, he is insane. Same. Dude, so cool. All right, well, let's check out mine. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you got another freaking Libero mod. But you also, dude, the ho -Oh Decidueye, and then Blastoise, and Zapdos. That thing's struggling for dear life. <laughs> He's trying to stay on those oh. toes. Could I technically rock the same ability on two mons? You could, technically. I gotta look this up real quick, if you don't mind. The Libero is really sick. And then it's, uh... But then Decidueye and ho -Oh gives you Regenerator. What does that do? It heals you every time you get out of battle. And you switch it out, it heals you. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for the Decidueye ho -Oh. Next up, we have Robin the Ghost Fire type. I actually ended up giving it just a Citrus Berry right here. Moving on to its uh, stats, really, really good attack. His defense is honestly not looking the best, but he has pretty decent speed. I actually ended up going with Regenerator right here just to restore a little bit of HP if I needed to. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the Citrus Berry as well. So I think that's gonna be pretty good. For the moves though, Spectral, Thief, that's gonna be my custom move. We also get Sacred Fire from the Ho-Oh, Sword Stance, and also Sucker Punch. And finally, I gave it the adamant nature. It's my turn. I go first. Yeah, I, went, I got T-Tar last time. Mm, you're right. All right, let's see what I'm cooking. Is that a Jolteon, Jolteon fusion? Or am I tripping? Am I smoking oh, Reefer right now? It's a Jolteon and Nidoking. This is a crazy round for you. You have Fluffy, Water Buff, and you have a Huge Power, Azumarill, and Mamoswide. Huge Power? All three of these are insane. You got Cheer Force, Heavy Hitter specially, Huge Power hitting physically, or you have Fluffy, Insane Physical Defense. I already have the Dialga Umbreon, which is going to be just thick, thick, thick. I feel like right now I could use a heavy hitter. I think I'm going to go physical. You're going to go huge power. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. huge power yeah. is actually insane. Next up, we have Biggie. This thing is going to be so fun to use. I actually ended up giving it the life orb just because we are going to be really capitalizing on that attack stat. 360, and it comes with huge power. I mean, this thing is an absolute menace. His other stats aren't looking too great. Special defense, defense. His speed is okay, but we're really just going to go full on power with this thing. I ended up giving it sword stance. We also got EQ, liquidation, and knockoff. I didn't know. I think knockoff could actually come really in handy. And then of course the adamant nature. Oh, this is okay. This is going to be so hard to choose here. This Pokemon on the right is no guard. Giving this thing any custom move that will never miss is 
insane. Is that Golurk Kingler? That is Golurk Kingler. And then we have Drought, Venusaur, and Ninetales, which is really good. And then Ho-Oh Flygon. These are great. You have a Legendary here. You have two of the most popular Pokemon here. I think for the smartest reason, I gotta go No Guard. Like, being able to give this thing anything and it can never miss? That's scary. Then we got Ice Ice Baby. Not much to say about him except the fact that he's a great physical attacker and he gets some pretty good moves. He's a great typing with only one weakness. But the big thing is he has no guard, meaning no Pokemon move can miss against him or for him. So I gave him Sheer Cold. He's pretty slow, so I, if I'm outsped, I'm ruined. But if I can outspeed, Sheer Cold is an absolute one shot. Last round. <laughs> What? We have Thick, we have Serene Grace, and then we have Furry Frank. Is it Fire Water? It's Fire Water, I think Water Ground, and then Fire Fairy. I think Fairy would be really good for your, like, Dialga. You also have, like, Buzzwall, which is Fighting. Fairy's just overall such a good type. You, It's, like, it's just too good. And with Serene Grace, any move, dude, I could really do something with this. I don't know if I've actually used it before, so give me the Rapidash and Togekiss. I'm actually so okay with this. Our last Pokemon on the team. All graceful looking, but this thing is a demon. Due to his ability being Serene Grace, allowing like the secondary effects boosted from Togekiss, I gave him Sacred Fire for his custom move. Now, if you don't know, Sacred Fire has a 50% chance to burn, but with this ability, it is a 100% chance to burn, so any of physical attackers that I use this against, it will burn them. This is Holo's move, so with this and Serene Grace, it just can always burn. It does insane amounts of damage, this is so dang good for any physical attackers he has on his team, except fire types, because I can't burn that. Let me see. Oh, my God. You have so much to choose from here. Dragapult and Malamar. That's contrary. Yeah. I don't even know if I need to think. Any move? Any move? I don't know how I'm going to kill that thing. If I go up to it and he smiles, I'm picking it. It didn't do anything, dog. <laughs> if I go up to this Gengar and he does like a happy gesture, I'm done. My Koopa. Oh, come on! <laughs> Dude, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. <laughs> All right, guys, and finally, we have Ace the Dragon, Dark type. I was really excited to pick up this fusion. For the held item, I gave it the Dragon Fang, but checking out this guy's stats, really good special attack. We built this guy special attack-wise, but then also, look at that speed, man, 352. I'm so confident with whatever Dylan has, we're gonna be able to outspeed it right here. Uh, for the ability, I actually gave it Contrary. That is like the best thing I feel like we could have had for this Pokemon. Obviously, whatever stat changes happen, it's gonna have the opposite effect. So that's why going into my move set, I gave it Overheat because Dylan has a good amount of Steel types. And I think that's obviously gonna be good because instead of our special attack being lowered, it's actually gonna be raised this time. I also ended up giving it Draco Meteor, which once again, instead of my special attack being lowered, I gave it, uh, sorry, let's do that again. And that's also why I gave it Draco Meteor, because instead of our special attack being lowered, it's going to be raised. We also have Phantom Force and Knock Off, so obviously some really, really good options, and I built it with a modest nature. Good luck in the battle, dog. Oh my God. Dylan versus Dylan. Wow. Whoa. Woo. It's time, Chadley. <laughs> bang me? That's, that's what I said. Me. Yeah, I did say that. I did. Grassy <laughs> Surge. Okay. This is not a, uh, a great lead for me. I'm not going to lie. You just resist almost everything. So. Okay. Okay. So you set up the Stealth Rocks. That's I'm going to get the Stealth Rocks up. I'm just curious what you did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's going to hurt so this, bad. This might hurt, Dylan. It's so oh much damage, God, dude. Dude. Honestly, it set up the stealth rocks. Can it do anything else, Dylan? You're switching out, Dylan. That's crazy. Bang me I knew it. is I knew no it. longer here. I'm saving him. He's okay. a great physical wall. We're going out to it's a me, a Mario. I should have went for what I was gonna go for. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Rip. We have we two take that. Dialgas right here. Do you understand this? Like, you're, you're, you're thinking about going for, what, a ground move right now? That's really cute, Dylan. That's really cute. We have each have a custom move. Let's not forget. Yeah, I'm going to switch out. Just kidding. Blue Flare. 
and I have Scald Dylan. Okay, get the burn. No, no burn. No burn. I'm so mad at that miss, dude. You're going to go for it again. You're going to test your luck, aren't you? Mmm, you do withdraw. I the do. question is, who do you go to? Because I did not go for... Oh, yeah. Wait, what type are you? Mm, oh, look at that, that damage. You love hurt. that. This actually might kill. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Robin! Goodbye. See you, Robin later, Hood. <laughs> See you uh, later, Mike. Damn, dude, this Mario is something else. Yeah, I mean, Earth Tower would have also really hurt you there, being dark and steel. I think I wanted to preserve the uh, the dark oh, steel, to be honest. this thing, yeah, dude. Yeah, this thing is so nice, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. See, the thing with this thing is you could build him physically or specially. What do you go? You go back to bang me. Okay. I go to bang me. That was a good, no, that was a really, really good switch. Yes. Okay. I should eat this. I should. Mm, do you though? Do you eat this, Dylan? Oh my God. <laughs> for, <laughs> for next week's meal, you eat it. Damn, Dylan. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. What'd you go for? Oh, so mad. Who is this idiot? No. What did you go for? I went for grassy glide. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that would have that the lefties. Okay, that would have done so much damage, dude. Yeah, you're gonna switch out, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's see what you do here. Let's see I'm what hoping you still went for flash cannon. Ice, baby. I didn't. What typing is this thing? Oh, you oh, eat water this. ground. Mm. Oh, eat, eat this is a, a okay. Stretch. Maybe get the burn. Maybe get the burn. All right, all right, all right. I like this. Ooh, wait. I red card you. What am I going to? No! Not, <laughs> not who I wanted, dog. Let's see how much this does. It's pretty good damage. <sighs> Decent damage. Sheer cold. That's it. That's it. You're just dead. That's it. Yep. No guard sheer cold. I cannot miss. You need to try to kill him right now. This is really my only option. I'm not going to lie. It's my only option. Ace. It's named Ace? Yeah, I really hate this, actually. Because if you just Draco Meteor here, I think you actually kill. You do go with the Draco. You don't miss. I'm dead. I don't take Let's this. Do I don't you take this. Don't There's take no this. way. I'm a, I'm a physical wall. Not... Okay. Dude, ice, that, that ice, HP baby. bar was going slow. It was going, it was really, going slow. really slow. Bro. Doing this battle is really making me just wish Pokemon had like a fusion thing, bro. It's so fun, dude. It's it so is, cool. It is so fun. This okay. is definitely the best play that I can do for me. Spore. What type are you? <laughs> wait, what's your item? Huh? No, I have... Dr wait, what is my item, actually? I completely forgot. Does it have... <laughs> Prankster doesn't affect dark types! I've thrown that Pokemon away twice. I'm so mad. Let's do this. Ooh. Die, die, die. Yes! I didn't think you were gonna outspeed. <laughs> well, thank God there are items in Pokemon to help me outspeed. Oh, your freaking choice, dude. I thought for a second that you were grass, like sport didn't affect you because you're grass. I was like, wait. Dude, no. that was an insane moment, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, you went to another dark drag. Oh, you're dark steel. Dark steel, Dylan. Oh, dude, you still have huge power in the back. Hey, if I have Dylan thinking this much, that's a W in my book today. You know what? Super happy for you. <laughs> What'd you go into? You know I my had, moveset. You went I to had Mario. to save him. I went back to Mario. I'm hoping you're flash canning. You're scolding. We're not flash canning. I live. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Burn, burn, burn. Okay. We're safe. I'm just curious if you switch on here and try to save him. I don't know. Blue flare. I don't hit. miss this time. You hit. Eat it. Yes. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Chadley. I can't believe you lived on like nothing, dude. All right, two mons left. You got a stand. I go to stand. Doesn't he look like a stand? He is a stand, dude. Okay, good rocks. Gets rid of your multi scale if you're running that. If you're running beast boost, doesn't matter. Wait, you outspeed and you hit. Ah! <laughs> okay, great. Woo! You must have run him bulky. <clears throat> this thing gets priority. Okay. Okay, you don't why do you sound like you're happy about that? I wanted my terrain back. We're going for a little setup. Oh, that your custom move? Yup. Come on, please let me out speed. Let me out speed. <sighs> I'm so scared to click A, Dylan. Yes! Goodbye, Biggie! That's I, I had one opportunity right there, and that was it. Nah, Woo! GG Dylan. That was such Ooh, a GG. fun battle.